it's been a while. As always, the biggest challenge is what am I going to talk about? But uh, I'm changing my format up a little bit. I don't think a type top five is going to work with this. So I really want to talk about our uh, trip that we took to the UK. Uh, Anthony, you just thought it'd be nice if people kind of hearing my interpretation and point of view of what was going on. So anyway, no hold myself to a little so <laughs> most of you know me well enough that's hard so anyway I think I'm going to start out with um the scenery okay you know if again if you listen to Anthony uh, he knows I love water and so being on an island of course we're going to find water and we did everywhere the tidal bays and estuaries and keys and everything we were seeing I uh, kind of blew my mind of where we live in the United States near Lake Erie and the river that flows into it that goes through Toledo um, not so far influenced by the tides a couple yeah I mean there's definitely a difference I remember as a kid making sandcastles and having the tide come in and, and beat them up nothing like we see in these tidal areas. And we had seen that with the North Sea in Germany. So it's not the first time we've seen them. But uh, what really caught our interest is having those boats just tethered there on the ground and the water would come up and the water would go away. And I don't know how you manage that, but they were very cool to see. Give us nice markers to watch them. So anyway, and then of course, uh, whales especially. Oh, the mountains. Oh, they were just fantastic. I love them, and I love the challenge when we were in that car with Alan. I'm like, stop, let me out. Let me walk up to the top of that. Because <laughs> that sakes that really I dig. And I feel like uh, I'll always challenge me. So I can't get Anthony up a lot of times. Sometimes. But, um, you know, there's no railings. But anyway, <laughs> that, uh, that I think is just, uh, was just super pretty. Oh boy, we were in Edinburgh. Wow, the cliffs on that castle were just phenomenal. I just, that just blew my mind again. I love seeing stuff like that. Yes, there's, it's not the only place that has things, but just on our trip, I really, really enjoyed, uh, again, just the different waterways, the rivers, and the river in York there was beautiful, and, you know, just the, uh, the hills and the mountains and we ducked our feet in a beach in Edinburgh and that was really fun so anyway that that was oh that's always first on my list I'll be very honest so okay um the castles are probably the next thing I want to talk about I don't know if we counted I mean I haven't counted the number of castles we went in every single one of them offered something a little different from the uh, Carnarvon, which is the one I thought was really the most fun just because we can run up those spiral, spiral stairs get the view all around and then you go down and you go up the next set and find sometimes rooms in between and uh, I love that. That is just so much fun to go through those stone areas and just go everywhere that you can. Oh, that was the last one we did like that. But uh, anyway, but then when you get to like Sterling, Sterling was really hands-on. Sterling is the only place we saw where you had people in period dress. That was pretty cool. Very nice museum in there. Again, very hands-on. I mean, even the one area where you had a slide and you could see this is what the castle looks you know coming up to the castle looked like um you know a thousand years ago and this is what it looks like today and so that was really neat to see because sometimes it's hard to picture exactly how that all goes in um so it was a really cool that was a really cool thing to see uh, a whole lot of fun to have anthony sitting in the king's chair <laughs> So that that was a real hoot. Oh boy, and um, um, Cardiff Castle, the keep. I mean, Tony was all excited about the Norman keep. 
I was like, yeah, it was all right. There just wasn't much to run through. I think it's probably what got me just a little bit. I mean, you had more to see than I thought at first. But um, I really, uh, palaces are not my thing per se. But wow, we got into the different rooms and we got into the Arabian room. Wow, that's a mathematician's dream. All the angles, angles on angles on angles on the wall. That was so, so cool. And uh, maybe you see some of the pictures and they put up. I always know, take a picture of the ceiling because that's going to be done really, really well. I take a picture of the floor, take a picture of the fireplace. So that's cool. That Arabian room just absolutely blew me away. And we're walking out of it. And one of the dokets is standing there. And I said, that is the coolest room I've ever seen. And he goes, yeah, it was the most expensive one we have. <laughs> so anyway, but like I said, I was just so impressed with all the, the angles on it and uh, just how decorative it was. It was beautiful. So um, anyway, that was a, it was a lot of castles, a lot of castles. Um, but that's what we were going for was castles. So uh, we, there's, yeah. So anyway, it was a lot of castles and the castles were super cool. We don't have those, by the way. <laughs> okay, I'm going to talk about food. I think I might have organized this in the five by the time I'm going. So, uh, uh, food was interesting. The fish and chips were too greasy. I finally figured that out because the fish was okay. The chips were okay. But overall, eh, you know, I, it, they're just, that's it. It's just, it's too much grease. Um, but it was good to get it and go to have fun. Um, boy, when we were at um, Hover Motion's house there and we did tea and I always thought tea was just tea, which we don't drink. No, it's a lot of fun. They had the little cakes there or the little sandwiches and the triangles, which were nice. And then they had all kinds of cakes and scones or scones or whatever you want to say. Like, oh, I'm a fan of those. <laughs> so that was absolutely delightful. Um, otherwise, so uh, we found a wood fire pizza. And the first one we found was in London. Just a very small off, you know, he had a very small section for his a restaurant and it was all outdoors and he had a big wood fire and they popped that pizza in uh <laughs> young muslim man and we had quite a conversation with him and uh the pizza was terrific um different from germany germany doesn't do pepperoni um, so we always get a salami pizza, but you guys know how to do the pepperoni pizza. So that, that was, it was really good. So we had wood fire pizza, oh, three or four more times over the period of the month. Um, it's kind of a safe food. And, uh, you know, it's sort of interesting. But I, the, the, the treats that we found, oh, buddy, um, Caspa's, I know it's a chain, um, but wow, they're, uh, chocolate chip cookie, soft chocolate chip cookie with ice cream, warm soft chocolate chip cookie with ice cream. That was super. That was really good. So we hit that in Cardiff, and then we um, hit it again in. Um... <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, yeah. So that that's kind of gonna cover food. I really wish someone would pick that up or mute it or something. So anyway, um, yeah, they did that. But then the one that really got us was uh, in Mrs. Potts's chocolate shop. Wow, they had five different levels of of uh, hot cocoa. Um, I mean flavors, I should say, but levels of chocolate is where I'm going. So they had a white chocolate. Um, on that all the way to milk to medium to, to, to dark to but wow five different choices Anthony and I went in the middle of course because we're not that brave um, but that was kind of interesting but we both went for that Matilda cake and uh, wow wow rich good super good 
Uh, so good, we Googled the recipe. At some point, we'll do a, re uh, we'll, we'll do a copycat recipe, and we'll see if it was as good as it was in the store. Um, so that was really, really cool. So uh, one thing I really, really liked um, in almost every town, I think probably every town, um, to be honest, I think London was the one we were finding the most, are the pedestrian zones. The areas where you had limited cars, I don't think no cars ever, but limited cars in there, and so people could walk in the street and so on. Um, those were nice, and um, one, you know, the, the more we explored them, the, the bigger they seemed to be. Um, I really like that. Again, I'm going to compare a little bit to Germany. Um, the Germans are, uh, their pedestrian zones tend to be a street or a couple, you know. Uh, these were bigger that we were finding in the UK. Um, so, like in Liverpool, uh, we just kept exploring. As we go for something, you go up these stairs and then you find a, almost a park-like setting up four floors up. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, really nice. And people sitting there reading and whatever else. And I thought that was a surprise and it was really, really cool. Um, in Cardiff, the pedestrian zone, um, as we just explored more, <coughs> excuse me, as we went through um, looking for a post office, we found more and more of their um, pedestrians area again with all the shops and the things and almost every type of shop you could think of lots of food um, and they're nice and so we just kept finding more and more and more and then started connecting them and so that was just fun it was it's it was fun to find how big those were and how much there was to them and what all you could do in them so that was really really cool um the surprising parks like i said i just mentioned that one that was up on the fourth floor um in liverpool uh the edinburgh park there in front of the castle that is such a busy area it's a super busy road you've got pedestrians all over the place you know, and again, the shops and the restaurants and all those reasons. The train station wasn't far away. Uh, the bus station wasn't far away. So all these reasons for people to be around. And so you would think it would be rather um, uh, industrial or citified at least. Um, but no, there's this giant park underneath the castle. Um, there are concerts in there. Uh, lots and lots of green space. And that was just kind of a common thing that we found were just places in the cities we were in that had really nice green spaces. That's healthy you know, for people and it was an absolute delight that you this way you're looking at the city and this way you're looking at this beautiful park. So that was that was really cool to see them. All right, the last thing I want to talk about are the people we i think it was mostly london they were saying don't talk to anybody in london they're mean <laughs> we got out of out of our plane and got our luggage and we're in the subway area and you've got these guys with their vests and ladies and if you even look lost they helped you where are you trying to go I can help you get there. And that was everywhere in London. They always were very quick to help you and very good at helping you too. I mean, they just made it super clear so you knew exactly where you were going. That was nice. Um, we didn't talk to people like just too much on the street, but there were situations where we did. Our very first night there, we walked, because you know we were in the Tower Hill region, so we walked down near the river trying to find something to eat. Usually there's restaurants down there, right? So as we're looking a little lost at the slug and lettuce, you know, because the menu, okay, we can get something we can eat here. Um, the tables were full. Two women pull us, call, call us over, you know, mean London. 
to win the call us over so you two can sit here at the end of the table. And we're like, great. We were very pleased to do that. And it was a delight to talk to those two. Um, they were from Londoners, but a little outside of London, you know, sort of a suburb type thing. And they like to come into the city. So I'm not sure if they counted, but they were super, super nice. And their dog, <laughs> which surprised me <laughs> under the table. But anyway, uh, they were just delightful. And so, you know, and we would talk to shopkeepers, because we do, especially Anthony. And um, we never got hostility or meanness from anybody, really. Um, and we had to laugh. We heard a, a bicyclist cuss some people out and say, he's going, but, yeah, you know, he kind of had a right. They were all on his way. <laughs> we're walking in the bike club zone. <laughs> so anyway, um, that, that was the same. And as, uh, you know, when we were in Bangor, we sat there watching the tide come in because we had so much time to kill. And we had three different groups of people stop to chat with us. That's not what people said was going to happen. But it was terrific. I mean, you know, we're friendly and we'll talk to pretty much anybody. So um, it helped kill some time. Um, and it's just uh, such a warmness from the people throughout the entire UK. Um, we felt all the time. <laughs> and, um, you know, of course, that highlight uh, was in Liverpool. It was so, so cute having those, those um, chemists, you know, in the pharmacy there. They were so, so cute. They just wanted to talk to us and they were charmed by Anthony. And so <laughs> that deal with making one of the official Skelzer, everybody there was enjoying it. And I know Anthony was over the moon with this. He was so so tickled. So I snapped those quick pictures. Should have done a video, I guess. But um, anyway, it was so cute. And um, there were so many times uh, in Liverpool specifically where we said, you know, we just, we walked out of places with a big smile on our face because we just enjoyed the interaction with whoever it was. I mean, even those guards that were trying to figure out which bus we were supposed to take to get to. <laughs> to get to the uh, stadium there for Liverpool Reds. So anyway, that, uh, you know, that was good with people. And, and that's just, those are just some examples. We had interactions absolutely everywhere we went that were a lot, a lot of fun. Oh, I the YouTubers, fellow YouTubers. I'm a YouTuber, as Tony said. Um, I really was confused when we met Tim. I didn't expect that kind of reaction. I mean, we're just Anthony and Joyce, you know? It's not, we're not special, I guess. I don't know. But he made us feel like we were absolute celebrities. And that was really kind of crazy. Um, so, um, and then we, you know, we met Oh, Lord, order. Um, I think Alan was next, and that was so much fun, and I so enjoyed chatting with his wife, Babs, and meeting his grandson and his daughter and being in the shed, and that was just absolutely delightful. I thought that was so funny, too, because I looked at the shed, and I thought, oh, it's smaller than I thought. It's like it's bigger than I thought. <laughs> it just... It's funny to see something from the screen to see it in real life. Just that different view you get from it. So um, that was really, really cool. And it was just a delightful day. Just beautiful scenery. And they chose well. And we had a lot of fun. And again, that interaction made the best, best, best part. Okay, so then... After that, we, while we were in Liverpool, you know, we had to do all the Beatle stuff, which was a lot of fun too, okay? But then we wanted to do Anfield Road, and so we went with Lee and Jackie, 
And that was really delightful. We had a great time with those two. Despite this not being Lee's team, he still was a really good sport about it. And I thought the two of them were really cute. So, and then we did that, and that was fun. So then we go, um, we went out to dinner. They picked a nice spot. I really, really liked it. And so we just had a great day, although it was so funny. If you watch Anthony's video, um, just try to find a spot to do that. And interview was just hilarious. We got in front of a Liverpool place, and they kept slowly pulling the trays down. It was such a comedy of errors. It was so funny. So it was definitely a fun day and a fun experience. Okay, um, so then we ended up going to Jim's house. Again, it was so funny because I don't know what Jim looks like, but he started talking. Bam, I've got his voice. So his family was so nice. He was very nice. Anthony was just a kid there, enjoying everything there. Okay, and uh, Donna was a real sweetheart. So we did have a nice, nice, nice time talking and and, you know, talked about a lot of things, you know. So it was a great day, and we had an afternoon tea. And that always intimidates me because we don't do tea. Oh, no, it's got all these lovely little sandwiches and all these cakes and scones or scones. Oh, they're really good. We're a fan now. So we had a great time with that. So that was a beautiful day. Um, and just up there seeing that layout, wow, that is big. It is fancy. Uh, probably the most complicated layout I think I've ever seen. So, good job, Jim. Okay, uh, so then we met Philip on the, um, on the uh, platform there um, when we got to the station. I, that was kind of crazy. It was another one where, like, we feel a little bit like movie stars and, you know, it's just us. It was cute to see Philip, and he was really cute too. So it was just another fun situation. So anyway, we end up finally getting to Edinburgh, and we catch up with Chris. Oh, good golly. Chris is 100% the same in person as he is on his YouTube channel. He's so cheeky is the term I want to give. And he looks at me the voice of an angel. <laughs> He's so funny. So anyway, uh, it just was really, really uh, nice. We had a couple hours in Starbucks, which blew his mind. How could we have talked for two hours at Starbucks? But, you know, it is what it is. And so I just thoroughly got a kick out of Chris. He was so much fun. Okay, so anyway, let's get a son into York, where we do that big meet and greet uh, very funny alan's the first one we see we didn't expect him and so it was it really ended up being very nice and so um i talked to richard's mom a lot we compared pictures of our grandbabies <laughs> so that was a lot of fun it was nice some of those guys i didn't know as well but it was really nice to see them and everybody was so friendly and I learned some new things there, and it just was a great, fun time. And so I'm so glad we got to do that. And I would just encourage people, why, you know, if you can, why not? You know, it's just so different seeing people in real life. So anyway, the last person we ran, got, I shouldn't say ran into, the last person we met up with um, was Danny. And <laughs> <laughs> Danny walked in, I thought, boy, does he look like a rail worker. And then, oh, good golly, he's just so enthusiastic, and I thought he was so cute. So I enjoyed him and his son and all that energy that came in with him. So it was just really awesome. And I think just, again, I would really recommend it. It just was a fun thing to do. So anyway, I think that kind of wraps up. At least there's so much I left out there, but it gives you a nice idea, hopefully, of my perspective of what our trip was like in England. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like button and give me some ideas for other topics, and I'll probably do another one about maybe some things that kind of confused us a little bit in England. Okay, all right, bye.